gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel That channel is Deb Chanel's For It's World Okay, I wanna completely thank you for supporting my channel by subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and continue to do so moving forward. If you haven't become one of my subscribers, please think about it and come on over. It's a family affair. Go on and do what's best, and that's for me to entertain you, okay, by hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification button, letting you know when I drop down new videos. But let's go on and get into this brand new video that was brought out to us uh, by Entertainment Tonight online, uh, their vlogging site as well as as a online magazine rep as well, okay. But we're going to get on into the story that E.T. is an exclusive that they brought out. And the article uh, journalist was a guy called Bryce Sanders, who's employed with E.T. Okay, we're going to be talking about one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo franchise employees, okay, of True Entertainment. And that person, or I should say two people, would be Candy Burris. Yes, you all know her, Todd Tucker's wife. Okay, yes, the one that just bought some... 18 wheeler, he's gonna go out in the sunset and drive trucks for a living. Go figure, right? But no, we're talking about the reigning co star, uh, queen, princess, however you want to look at her on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Kenya Moore. Yes, we're gonna reflect back to when Kenya Moore, when she was in her little hay time or heyday when she was trying to shade Nene on how much do each member makes of the cast, okay? And she was claiming to claim that Candy Burris was the highest pay on the show and not Nene Leakes. Well, Candy kind of said quiet about it here and there, but now she's breaking her silence on saying, basically, can you more handle business and spreading her business out there like that? Because if you want to do things tactfully, nobody should know what nobody makes on the show. Just be glad you're on the show, you're privy to that type of money, and you get in where you fit in. But well, let's go on and see what Bryce, yes, Bryce Sanders of ET Online, staff writer, wrote, uh, in his article about Candy Burris trying to get Kenya Moore sized up, meaning, don't look at my coins, don't look at my dollars coming in, pay attention to your own playground, ho, okay? All right. Anyway, it says as a title, Candy Burris responds to Kenya Moore, exposing her Real Housewives of Atlanta salary and dishes on season 12 drama. This is an exclusive. This was brought out on November 15th, which was on Friday. Okay, it says Candy Burris bag is secured. And that's all she wants you to know about her finances. Okay, I ain't mad at her, honey. Uh, oh, gosh, I don't think it's appropriate for you to talk about what you're getting paid. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Star Tales ET. You know what I'm saying, I hear you, Ken. I know exactly what you're saying. My side, boy, yes, Ken got no business going up there trying to play ball, trying to say Nene is not the HBIC in charge, nor is she making the highest pay on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, because if the she was on the other foot and you were throwing information out there like that, Kenya wouldn't like it and she would be telling you about it, okay? She would be saying that's classless for you to do that, Candy. So, yeah, Candy, you wanted her back on the show, right? Am I correct? Okay. Now, now she's trying to throw you in a situation where she wants to know how much you made. And it's just for these, but is it really? Is she really trying to get in your purse and really know the uh, true tea of how much you're getting paid? Because whether you're counting or not your paycheck, she surely is looking at it and see how she can come to be a match or if not over you, Candy. Watch out. Watch out, girlfriend. All right. But anyway, that was my sidebar going back to the article. It says Candy was forced to weigh in, though, after her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star, Kenya Moore, went on the Wendy Williams show and declared Candy to be the HBIC of their city, okay? She told the talk show host, Candy makes the most money, okay? So if I was coming for anybody's person bag, it would be Candy. See that, Candy? Ooh, that apple don't fall too far from the tree. You mount Adam and Eve and let that serpent tempt her into fooling 
Adam. And now we got all this whole mess just spinning from generation to generation to generation, okay? We the Jezebels, only because of Eve, only because of Eve. But anyway, that was my sidebar going back to the article. It said, uh, this came after Wendy declared Nene Leakes the top biller on the show. Candy has actually appeared in more episodes and in more seasons than Nene at this point. I'm not going to confirm neither here nor there, Candy says of Kenya Claims. What I will say is I've seen what the blog said for years and they've never had my salary right. Okay. Oh, Candy, 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 go on and mix it up. You know they probably had that salary right, but you are not going to confirm nor deny. Okay, they probably ain't got the penny per degree of what you get paid, but I'm pretty sure it's in that uh, salary range or where we're digging at because I'm pretty sure people have leaked it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've leaked it. So they may can't say actual or actuality what you actually make, but they're putting it in a ballpoint figure from a range here to a range there. Okay, it's all good. Only you, your employer, and the Lord know how much you make, girl. And only them and the rest of us can just speculate. That's all. Okay, but um, going back to the article, it says various Bravo theme blogs claim that Candy makes as much as two to three million for a season of the series. When I see those reports that will come out about how much each person makes on the show, I'm like, who's giving them this information? She asked, like, Who's really sending it in to say, oh, this person makes, I know I'm not telling anybody how much I make. Bravo has treated me well, as well as they treated everybody well on this show, she adds. They take care of us, and I'm happy with what they pay me, and I'm not leaving, and I'm and I'm leaving it at that. I do not care about what everybody else is getting paid. So then I don't want them to care about what I get paid. Now, sidebar candy. You are good. You are really good. And you are true. You speak the truth when you say you don't care about nobody else's coins, dollars, however they want to look at it. But honey, you can best believe somebody on your staff, on your your, your colleagues, they worried about what you make, honey. They are worried about it, and they probably more so are jealous, okay? So I'm just saying, watch your back, watch your front. Watch, better yet, let the Lord watch all parts, the front, the back, the top, the sides, everywhere for your livelihood as well as your health to enjoy your livelihood. Okay, baby, don't worry about what the people are saying. Only the person that knows who's, who owns the company, how much he's paying. So if you don't go out and tell everybody, won't nobody know. But if you actually went out and told somebody, you can rest assured they're leaking it to the press and they're coming around what you make if they don't give the true dollar amount. Okay, but that's just my feel. I'm going back to the article. It, it goes on to say, Candy says she did have words with Kenya after her Wendy's appearance, but it was all in good fun. Now, my sidebar again, uh uh, Candy, when you're drunk, you usually tell people what you really feel, and then you can blame it on the alcohol, okay? But since you don't drink, I'm pretty sure you may have been kiki and ha ha in it up, but you let some truth come into that conversation that you were having with Miss Kenya Moore, okay? I know you did, girl. You kind of like nice and nasty shaded her, but told her, keep your eyes on your prize and not on mine. So, okay, I know you did, girl. I know you did, and that's good. That's good. Get your co-workers in check, honey. Don't let them run all over you and play nice in front of the cameras. That's how you keep your job, okay? Thank you, boo. Going back to the article, it said, Candace said she did. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, girl, what? And she just like, well, she thought it was funny, Candy recalls. She was like, well, I just need to let them know. I was like, hey, man, I'm, st I'm staying out of that. Like, no, Kenya, you know, and whenever it's time somebody bring you or call you up on your shit, you try to act all flighty. And flighty is not in your program. You are well aware of what you're doing, how you shading people, how you trying to tell people business, you know how to formulate it and you know how to throw them rocks at their glass house and then try to hide your hands like you didn't do anything. So yes, Candy, 
Put her on the radar. Don't take your eyes off of her because she's gunning for what you're getting and she's gunning for Nene. That's just how this entertainment business gets down. I don't know why people want to be a part of it in such uh, lucrative ways because, hey, you have to pay the piper once it's time to pay up, okay? So, it seems like all you ladies are in that uh, bunch right there. And only God can tell how you'll get out of it. But that's not my business. Okay, moving on. We're going back to the article. It's saying, um, Kenya's comments came naturally with some shade towards Nene, whom some fans speculate, speculated was having second thoughts about returning to the series once she's learned that Kenya had signed her contract. To return after taking off season 11. Kenya only made one cameo appearance last year at an event thrown by Cynthia Bailey. Much to Denise Chargan, the OG housewife admitted to feeling blindsided by Kenya's return and essentially ended her friendship with Cynthia over it. Candy, though, actually takes credit for bringing Kenya back around the group. Yes, see, Candy, <laughs> you claim to fame that you want it, you like it, you love Kenya, and now she's back, baby girl. She's back. She's full of fat, and she's going to get whatever she has to do to solidify her position, if not try to make more money over you and over Nene. That's just how one of the snakes get down, okay? I'm just letting you know. If you didn't know, now you know, okay? And as far as Nene saying she was blindsided, Nene, I know everybody's gonna find her. They want to ask her out, and they want it to be the Kenya show. <laughs> but I know Nene got a lot of fight left in her, a lot of fight. So it will always be torn more between Kenya Boy and Nene Lease. They're beautiful women. I don't care what nobody be saying. They all look very nice. They all know what they want from this show. And they're going to give the drama to Bravo so they can continue solidifying that full-time lucrative check. And that's being on this platform of Real Housewives of Atlanta. They're never going to let it go. Only way they're going to get out that door if Bravo throw them out like they did Carlos King and Phaedra Parks. Okay? And they pretty much booted Claudia Jordan as well because she wasn't giving them too much of nothing but just make them noise around Atlanta with no steam in between. Okay? You know what I mean? But moving on, back to the article it says, um, I didn't even think it was going to turn left like that, she admits. I just really wanted Kenya to show her face. My whole goal with this that situation was that I did not want us to go a whole season and the fans never got a chance to see Kenya pregnant. That didn't make sense to me. I'm like, Kenya, all these years we've been invested in her finding love, having a baby, and here it is. She's pregnant and the fans are not going to see her one time. Now, see, Candy, that's right. You were too invested. And since you brought her back and you had a hand in solidifying, giving the green light, like, yeah, 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 let's bring, I'm on board with, let's bring Kenya, Kenya, Kenya back. Now, what if somebody else was on the board saying, let's bring Frazier, Frazier, Frazier back? You wouldn't look so easy and be so uh, applauding the return of Phaedra, now would you? And that's the same thing how Nene felt when you were trying to go after bringing Kenya back, okay? Kenya is her arch nemesis. She sees Kenya as a threat because uh, Kenya has the potential of replacing Nene, and that's true. She wants to be the head BIC, but she don't want to wait for it, and Nene is considered the OG HBIC. Of course, she titled it herself. She self-proclaimed it. And some people have really gotten into the idea that she is who she is. <laughs> Even though Bravo ain't saying one hell of a beans, that was true. But since everybody seems to be flocking to that, then they let her so-called call herself and give her that privilege since she is one of the forerunners uh, first starters of the Real Housewives of Atlanta that have lasted the long, longest on the show. Okay, but going back um, to the article, it said, uh, I mean, I really didn't take into consideration other people's feelings, I guess she asked, but it is what it is. So, you, okay, we're saying it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. But anyway, Nene ultimately decided to come back to the show, which she told E.T. earlier this month. She considers her baby and that same chat. Nene addresses her issue with Kenya and the other women on the cast saying these girls to me are all uh, wants to be the queen. Of course, we had that refurbished, recycled news. She considers herself the queen, the HBIC, and she uh, 
sees the other women as uh, princesses. So we already know about that. Oh, and then it goes on to say, you know that that's an ego thing, Candy says, in response to the princess's comment. Me personally, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to claim the queen. I feel like everybody on this show is a queen. That's Candy spill into it. But, you know, I can see where Nene gets that idea because she is the longest one on the show, if you want to say being a cast, but if you want to count in each season of each season, then of course, yes, I guess Candy would be the long standing one because she haven't missed any episodes or seasons since she's been on. But to say Nene was totally disregarded after she left the show, that's not necessarily true because it was always Nene will come back. Nene haven't left the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not really. Okay, she just wanted to go pursue other avenues that she thought were going to be more lucrative than being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She had to test those waters out there and she found out they weren't as smooth sailing as she thought they would be. That's why she pretty much came back. Uh, really, with Cynthia bringing her back in as a friend to bring her back on into the show, and she just took it, ran with it, and now she, you know, solidified herself back as being the uh OG queen of the show. Okay, so she y'all had her out at one time, and you could have definitely had got some more people in or, or tried to replace her in that type of a setting or stance, but you know, no one tried to uh pick up the pole and run with it. So of course she came back. Uh, reclaimed her position, her self-appointed position, and it just stood the test of time. Hence, here we are now. She's still claiming herself as such. And people are definitely gravitating to believing that ideal as well. But getting back to the article, it says, this show cannot happen if there wasn't multiple stories that people cared about, she explains. You cannot do a whole entire show by yourself. And that's why you don't see everybody with their own show or whatever, because you have to have a crew of people that have personality and different things going on outside of yourself to carry a show. One person can't carry it. So with that being said, much love to her. I'm glad she's here, but I would never say that there is one queen and a whole bunch of princesses because those two episodes went along just fine. People tuned in and life went on. Candy has been referencing the first two episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta's current season, which features no scenes with Nene, who also did not appear at all in season nine of the show and only made a guest appearance in season eight. And actually, those seasons were really good, apparently, Candy says, noting the high ratings of those years, which included the heated drama between Candy and co-stars Portia Williams and Phaedra Pars, who spread (coughs) defamatory uh, lies about Candy. Frazier exited the show at the end of season nine and in the years since. Candy and Portia have worked to repair their relationship. They hit a speed bump last year when Candy confronted Portia with information she had learned about her then boyfriend, now fiance, Dennis McKinley. Oh, and after last year, I said I wasn't saying anything else, but anything that I've heard, especially not dealing with the Portia and Dennis situation, Candy admits she obviously did not take in Take it very well from me last season. And, you know, I just said I don't want us to continue having drama like that was just starting to annoy me that she and I just became the drama uh, every year. All of a sudden, you know, in the last few years prior to now, helping Candy on their helping Candy on her new mission with Portia was the fact that she said she had no idea about the dramatic developments in Portia and Dennis relationship at the start of the season. The pair's engagement was off after allegations of infidelity surfaced. They've since rekindled or reconciled a journey that will play out over the course of the season. Candace says she just aimed to be there for Portia as a cheerleader as much as possible. Okay, now we saw that Candy was. She's been trying to play both fences, but, you know, it just is what it is. Okay, and um, Candy goes on to tell more so about the surrogacy and um, what she's doing now with her line for our cosmetic line with Candy Coated uh, Cosmetics. And, you know, she's doing other business adventures with Todd Tucker. And, you know, recently I did a, um, a video about he's becoming to be a long range driver or, you know, for some truck industry industry where he's going to uh, see how it does with this cross country type of 
uh, driving an 18 wheeler and, and hauling stuff and hopefully he can turn that into a big business adventure, which it is very lucrative if he can get the right drivers or if he's going to get out there and try to drive it himself. I can't see him doing that because he's too much of a party animal. He loves being at home. He loves being a father to Ace. And probably the other child that's coming, but since it's a girl, probably wouldn't hang too much with her dad and more so with Candy, you know, in the uh, formative years anyway. But going back to the article, she says, I always say that uh, they have too many drinks, Candy Quilt. Some of them start talking too much when they drink. Some of them get kind of mean when they drink. And so I always say, I'm glad I don't drink because if this was what's going on or what's going down when you're drinking, oh my. But the girls and their drama is so funny, she adds. It's like new drama, new drama. It's not the old stuff being rehashed. It's new stuff. And then you're going to get to see people are going to be put on blast this year. You know, I love when people tell lies, a little feels. And then they go back and play the footage on them. Oh, that's going to happen multiple times this year. And who I really feel she's talking about is more so evil. You know, because evil been out there you know, in social media world saying this, that, and third, like, you know, it's not going to come back and slap her in the face. I, I don't know where she gets it from, but it just is what it is. Uh, Candy also promises that friends of the cast, Marlo Hampton and Tanya Samson, are just as much in the mix as the full-time wives. In fact, Candy admits she's not sure why Marlo isn't holding a peach at this point. She has a lot happening in her life right now, which we'll still see it. She teases, I think it's going to be good for TV. So, and that pretty much just gives, you know, uh, the call to watch the show in closing in her article that she did with ET online. Uh, you know, continue watching the show and you'll see everything divulge itself as each episode play along in season 12. But, you know, I'm still questioning myself. I don't need to come on, but I think they're kind of introducing her since they're playing her a little bit more. They say in season 12, showing us a different light of Miss Marlowe. They may, in fact, be trying to bring her in as a full time peach holder, which if she does that, I would dare to see her try to take on her best friend, Nene Leakes, because both of them are OGs. And definitely Marlowe Hampton has definitely been a friend of the show since its inception. So, <laughs> Ooh, I'm just saying, honey, bring me the drama. Bring me the drama. I love them all, honey. I don't like nobody sitting on the couch like Cynthia. Okay. Don't know whether she want to get in or not. And right now, we benching her all the way. She don't need to come up off that bench for nothing. I would have to be in desperate need to put her into play. Put her into play. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We want Cynthia right where she's sitting because we were confused. We're confused on what we want to do and how we want to use her. And then she's going around here taking secondhand advice and, <laughs> and trying to spin it out playing as hers. We know it's might all the way. But y'all, that's all I had for this video. It was kind of long-winded. I ain't know E.T. E. T. was going to do such a long and drawn-out uh, interview with Candy. But Candy gave us some very much so insight that she didn't appreciate Kenya Moore trying to tell her uh, or tell the world about her comings and goings when it came to her salary. She was just like, play in your own playground, honey. Play in your own playground. Don't come see what we are uh, doing over here in the Birds residence, okay? Don't come over here. Don't be coming sneaking around, baby. Come full force. Let me know what you're coming for, and then I can tell you if you can have it or not, okay? But other than that, stop peeping in my windows. <laughs> of my chateau it's not for you stay on over there in more manner honey. stay over there in more manner i am not sheree Ray, uh, sheree whitfield i'm not her i'm not over there at sheree's house okay if she still has one i don't know fact check get in there and tell me if she still have her house food that they don't do no kind of uh, checks on uh, Sh Sheree Whitfield no more since so she stopped becoming a housewife. <laughs> but y'all, that's all I had for this particular video. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about Candy putting um, Kenya on blast by telling her so-called pay out to social media. She said, uh -uh, they don't even know. Will she get paid? So why would she go and tell the world what she thinks she get paid? I'm here for it. I am here for it. That's right. Check your colleagues. Check your co-workers, honey. Check them before they check make your behind. All right, guys. See you next video. Bye-bye.